The summer of 2022 represented an exciting opportunity for the airline industry to bounce back from the previous two years of coronavirus-induced restricted travel. However, at airports like London Heathrow, inadequate preparation in terms of staffing led to extensive disruptions and capacity limits. Emirates President Sir Tim Clark, a carrier deeply affected by the crisis, has now suggested that Heathrow's CEO should resign. The spark that ignited the fire in terms of Clark's latest comments appears to have been the suggestion that Heathrow's capacity caps may return at a later date. Indeed, as it stands, these daily limits, imposed to combat disruption caused by factors such as understaffing, were set to be lifted just before the end of October. This should have been a welcome relief for Sir Tim Clark, given Emirates' reliance on Heathrow as a destination from its Dubai International Hub. However, according to the Sunday Times, the airport CEO John Holland Kay has suggested that the cap may return later in the year in order to prevent disruption over the Christmas period. That seems to have been the last straw for Clark, who stated, That's inexcusable. Anybody who says anything like that is the wrong guy for the job. Clark is far from the only leader to have taken a swipe at Heathrow over the airport's underestimation of post-pandemic travel demand. Indeed, IATA Director General and ex-IAG and British Airways CEO Willie Walsh also reportedly described Heathrow's performance in recent months as a disgrace. Heathrow's relationship with Emirates has gone sour in recent months. For example, the airline was so outraged by the caps when they first came about that it threatened not to abide by them. The Sunday Times added additional remarks from Clark, who said, Holland K's job is to be up there and out there looking after consumers, not belly aching about not being able to get staff. We did what we had to do, workarounds. Sitting on your hands and saying, ho hum, it's delinquent. According to the Sunday Times, Clark has advocated for a new CEO at Heathrow that can develop a tighter bond with the airport's investors. After all, the Emirates president pointed to a lack of investment as a factor in the understaffing, stating, Yes, investors were losing billions during lockdowns, but that's when you have to put in billions. Heathrow's owners should have invested a couple of billion pounds to keep the thing going, to keep the staff there. A spokesperson for London Heathrow Airport provided the following statement to Simple Flying in response to this dispute. When the industry faced challenges scaling up this summer, we acted to protect consumer service at Heathrow. Our interventions were more targeted than other European hubs and have been shown to be the right thing to do. We are proud that Heathrow was the busiest European hub this summer and achieved consumer service scores almost as high as in summer 2019 as a result of close collaboration with airlines and their ground handlers. We'll continue to do so in the interests of consumers and it's disappointing that IATA has sunk into making unjustified personal attacks in an effort to influence the CAA board. What do you make of Sir Tim Clark's comments? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.